Hey hi guys welcome to my channel Tasty Tech Harbor. Today I'll be showing you how to repair your computer keyboard. I have a keyboard from Zebronic which I use it for my laptop. I recently found some keys are not working. Let's get into it and check what's happening. Firstly let me check which are the keys working and aren't. Uh, you see on the screen which are working and I'm listing the keys which are not working like AL dot and O. You might be wondering how is it typing those letters on the screen. So don't worry, I'm using my laptop keyboard to enter it. After you get to know which are the keys working and not working, you can unplug the keyboard from the laptop or PC and start unscrewing it. Uh, slowly break open the rear case and make sure you know the screws where you took it from because there are different size screws and you have to place it back to the same places. After you take it back the rear case, you can see the circuit board, it's a two layer circuit board. There's a small gap between the two layers. When you press the key, the point under it makes both the layer come in contact and triggers the command that you have pressed the key. Now I'm removing the rubber from the keys which were not working just to make her work easy. I will place the circuit back on the keyboard and start backtracking the circuit path from those keys. There are two layers of circuit you can see which I'm lifting to track the first layer of the circuit for the breakage. Check on both the layers when both the layers if there is any breakage in circuit. Uh, then clean the dust etc between the circuit and also check the point of contact with the PC. I found there was some dust which was blocking the contact. We will place back the circuit very carefully that both the layer are on top of each other and aligned properly. Make sure that the circuit has a proper contact with the PCB. Now you can see I'm placing that uh, white rubber. Then place the rear cover back and put back some of the screws and check whether the keys are working before you put back all the screws. Make sure that you put back all the screws to the same places where you took it from so that it fits perfectly to the final checks. You can see on the screen that few of the keys which were not working have started working and also make sure that you check all the keys whether they are working fine. Now I can see all the keys on the keyboard are working fine. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe which motivates me to make more videos which will help you guys.